How's it going, everybody? 16 months after suffering her first career loss and losing possession of the Flyway Championship, Hawaii's Alima Leigh McFarland returns to the cage this Saturday as part of the star-studded main card of Bellator 279 at the Neil Blaisdell Center. Arriving in Hawaii with what she calls anti-Ilima energy, the showdown against former UFC contender Justine Kish will serve as her third fight trip to the Aloha State, having gone 2-0 in the previous visits, which were emphatically capped with title defenses. Now, truth be told, the Punahou graduate contemplated retirement following her loss to Juliana Velazquez, but quickly realized that closing the cage door is for another time, and in the process, regained the passion for competition fully focused on once again making a run at Bellator Gold. Once I got that date and when they told me it's going to be back in Hawaii, I was like, gosh, this, what was I thinking? I was crazy thinking I was going to retire. Like, how could I give this up? So, yeah, it's definitely not on the books uh, in the near future for me. And again, being able to come here to Hawaii, I'm like, man, if I could fight in Hawaii for the rest of my career, let's do it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> when you look at the, the fight itself and preparing for it, opponent, how you feel, how much you feel you've grown here over the last year and some change. What excites you the most about the challenge that, that awaits for you on Saturday? Uh, what excites me the most, again, is to show me in the comeback, like how I respond to losing the belt, how I responded to the lingering knee injury, how I responded to taking this much time off. It's going to be 500 days since I last fought. And so how I respond to all of those obstacles is what I'm most excited about. Again, McFarlane will open the main card of Bellator 279 on Saturday that's set for 4 p.m. at the Blaisdell. The preliminary card featuring the likes of Hawaii Sumiko Inaba, Yancey Maderos, and Kai Kamaka III starts at 2.30. For more coverage, including information on Friday's Bellator 278, be sure to visit our website, khon2.com.